What's going on? In this lesson, you are going to learn how to use spirituality in order to rewire your mind and make yourself unstoppable. Hey, what's going on? Julian Rosen here, head coach at Wake Up Wealthy. And after helping 300 plus guys to predictably scale their business to the six and seven figure level while mastering their mindset, their habits, their lifestyle, their mental health, all that good stuff, I can tell you that spirituality plays a huge role in rewiring your mind to unlock new levels of performance. And at Wake Up Wealthy, we're very upfront about the performance systems that we use to help our guys hit the next level, right? And it's the MBSB performance system, mind, body, spirit, business. And when a lot of guys come into this group, when they join our, our program and they start taking action, they start using the performance systems, they're like, what does spirituality have to do with business? What does spirituality have to do with production and productivity and making more money? Like, how does it all connect, right? And then they jump in, they use the system, everything clicks and they're like, wow, I can't believe I never did it this way before. And so what we're going to talk about today is how spirituality, developing a spiritual practice in your own way is actually going to unlock and rewire certain areas of your brain so that you can actually do more with more clarity and more certainty and more productivity and raise your energy levels. All of these things that directly contribute to performance, which is the caliber and consistency of what you do. Your performance builds your results. So when you can actually upgrade the ingredients of your performance, you upgrade the output of your performance right? So you can use spirituality to optimize your mind and your body and how they work together. And that's where performance comes from, right? Optimize input, optimize output, cause and effect. So that's why spirituality has helped a lot of guys in our program really hit the next level in their income and their, their, their mental health as well. And we'll talk about that in a second. So right off the bat, I just want to be clear when I say spirituality, uh, that word's got a lot of connotations to it. I'm not talking about any religion or any, any dogma or anything like that. I'm simply talking about spirituality is your ability to access the truth of this moment right here, right now, without any influence from the past, without any assumptions, without any illusions and stories or anything like that, without your ego chiming in and your conditioned analytical mind chiming in to try to predict what's next, right? Like, ah, spirituality is your ability to access the moment. Right? Because if we look at what holds most people back, it's the fears and stories of their analytical mind. If you look at why we procrastinate, if we look at why we overthink, if we look at why we start fights with our loved ones, if we look at why we beat ourselves up, compare ourselves, all of these things, right? They come from this, this notion, this insecurity. They come from this insecurity, which is, hey, I'm this isolated person. I'm here, I'm all alone, and I'm in this unsafe world. Therefore, I need this ego. I need, I need, um, I need to be on the lookout. I need to constantly be worried about what's next because I'm, I'm, I'm this vulnerable piece of flesh, right? That's what, that's what most people's brains, that's how they operate if you really, really listen. They're always worried about what's next and having enough and scarcity and all these things because they feel just like a vulnerable thing drifting in a sea of loneliness. Now, science, quantum physics, neurobiology, all of these things have shown that we are actually energy, right? The truth of this moment is everything is energy. Right now, you're watching this video, but really what you're seeing is you're seeing photons, you're seeing light energy. You're seeing a certain spectrum of light energy bounce off certain things going into your retinas, and that light energy is being converted into symbols and concepts and meanings that your brain is making sense of. It's saying, hey, you're watching this video. Think about it, your brain's never seen a video. Your brain is in, in your skull. Your brain's never actually accessed reality ever. It's just guessing and predicting. Same thing, the words you're hearing, right? Really, truthfully, all they are is vibrational energy, right? Hitting your eardrums being converted, that mechanical energy is being converted into meaning and concepts and symbols that your brain is arranging and predicting what they might mean, right? What you're sitting on, the chair is just condensed energy. Everything is energy and your energy. Therefore, you're connected to all of these things because you are in some way, shape or form these things. And science is showing us this. And so the truth of this moment is you aren't just this vulnerable, lonely, isolated thing that needs to constantly predict it, protect itself and worry about what's next. And so spirituality, and, and, and if we look at what meditation is, meditation is whew, accessing the moment, accessing the moment, becoming storyless, becoming empty, right? That's all meditation is. It means to, to absorb yourself in the moment and, or, or try your best version of that. Now, why is that so effective, right? Let's do a little experiment right now, right? Come fully into this moment, right? Become aware of the screen you're looking at, 
Become aware of the vibrations of sound hitting your eardrums. Become aware of the space between you and the screen you're watching this on. Become aware of whatever you're sitting on or standing on. Become aware of the feeling of your clothing on your skin. Permit yourself to become aware of the room temperature on your skin. Right? You can maybe even scan your surroundings from left to right. Just really encapsulating the truth of this moment. And odds are, if you did any of those things, your brain slowed down a little bit. Your head and your heart came into coherency a little bit. Your breathing probably went from shallow to hmm, a little more deep. That alone, that alone is spirituality, rewiring your physiology to rewire your mind, right? So when we realize what we truly are, when we realize what we truly are, energetic beings connected to the energy all around us, well, now we don't always have to be on the lookout. We don't always have to be on the lookout. We don't always have to, you know, be worrying about what's next. Because here's the thing, when we're worried about what's next, our brain chemistry changes, our brain functionality changes, our, ba our brain becomes de unregulated and desynchronized. So our brain starts kind of like, the example I use a lot, it's kind of like having a football team on the field and everybody's running a different play, right? Like our brain kind of turns into chaos, our brain and our body stop talking to each other frequently and, 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 and truthfully. So, you know, our body is responding as if really bad things are happening, even though we're just mentally worrying, right? Now, when we can develop a spiritual practice, when we can understand certain truths about the moment and about what we are and about what we're connected to, huh, well, we don't have to be worried about what's next because we are what's next. And when we're not worried about what's next, guess what? Your brain starts to come into coherence. It starts to centralize. All those, all those football players start running the same play. Your amygdala, your fear center, your fight or flight response center shuts down a little bit. Your medial prefrontal cortex, your clear thinker, the CEO of your brain turns on. Okay, well now you can think more clearly. Now you can make better decisions. Now you're wasting less energy worrying about something that's not gonna happen. Now you have more energy to do what? Lose yourself in the task. Lose yourself in the actions that you're taking, right? When you do that, you gain momentum. When you gain momentum, your mind and body work together to, to work more efficiently. Okay, well now what's happening? Now your mind has changed, now your physiology has changed, your, your breathing and your posture has changed, all because you've developed a spiritual practice, a practice and a spiritual relationship with accessing the moment. And that's all it is and that's all it will ever be because you, know, you can't like try your best, you can't leave this moment. Right? You can try and you can try and you can try and you can predict and fantasize, but your body ain't going anywhere. You're here now and you always will be here. You always will be now. And so when guys come into our program, you know, learning some of these fundamental principles about energy and about the universe, developing a meditation practice, developing times, non-negotiable times of stillness, of non-reactivity, these are all things that allow you to come into contact with the truth of the moment. And it's not just a stress reduction technique. It's literally rewiring your brain. It's literally changing you from the inside out. So what is this gain? What is the advantage here? Again, when your head comes into coherency, when your brain, when all the regions of your brain start to work together, that's, that's called super brain. Your mind is actually working at its fullest capacity, whereas most of the time, most people are just reactive and stressed. They're, they're using five to 10% of their total capacity. You unlock that super brain. You unlock the ability to execute, to think, to create new resolutions and new solutions. You gain access to new mental resources. That makes your time and energy much more valuable. When your time and energy become much more valuable, you use it in ways that create more revenue, more impact, more income. That's just what we do as humans. So what is it costing you? What is it costing you to ignore your spiritual self, to ignore that there's a component of you that is energy because you are energy? Well, again, you, you, you get another day of pretending that you're isolated, alone, and, and insecure and vulnerable. It's not true. You're not those things. But the more you pretend you're those things, the more your reality will reflect that. So you'll be worried about what's next. You'll be worried about your competition. You'll be worried about running out of money. You'll be worried about all the conflicts and the relationships and pleasing other people and validation. Spirituality is the solution for all that because you realize that that is all illusions. It's all just energy moving around, but hey, when you're here, when you're now, the only thing you need to concern yourself with is here now and the energy around you and the energy within you. So that's why here at Wake Up Wealthy, our proven system that's helped hundreds of guys make way more money, it's mind, body, spirit, business is at the end. Because when your mindset is right, when your body feels good and you're spiritually connected to the moment, executing within your business is simple because there's no more resistance. There's no more overthinking. There's no more worrying. There's just executing in the moment, which is all there is. So maybe what you're missing is spirituality. 
maybe spiritual strength and connection to, to, to source energy is, is something that may be your biggest bottleneck in your life or your business. Maybe it's not just trying harder. <sighs> maybe it's coming into the truth of the moment and executing there. So I just wanted to share this quick video because doing this actually changes your brain. It changes your neurochemistry. It changes the circuitry in your mind. And where does behavior come from? Where does performance come from? comes from how your mind and body interact with each other. So developing a spiritual practice, getting your meditations in, creating stillness in your day to just be with what is, letting your nervous system calm down, remembering the truth that you're in this moment, this moment is energy, you are energy, this moment is you and it's not out to get you. <sighs> remembering those things will actually help you become a more potent, fearless action taker because you're no longer afraid, you're no longer acting out of scarcity and insecurity. So take some of these principles and use them and you'll see a drastic difference in what you do, how you do it in your performance and in the results you create. So as always, any questions about this stuff, comment below, always down to help you guys out. Like and subscribe to this channel. Every single week, brand new trainings just for you, one intention, help you predictably scale to the six and seven figure level while helping you master your mindset, your habits, your lifestyle, your mental health, all of that. Last but not least, if you wanna plug in right now to a proven system that's helped hundreds of guys just like you predictably scale their income, make more money, master their life. If you want that system to a T, accountability, support, structure, all that good stuff, click one of the links below, book a call with our team. We'll show you exactly how we can help you move forward and bring your vision to life personally and professionally. So I'll see you in the next training. Have a good one.